Protecting water quality continues to be a task in Iowa that attracts statewide attention and a call for answers. At the Agricultural Drainage and Water Quality Research and Demonstration Site near Gilmore City, Iowa State University Extension and Outreach has played an important role for 25 years. Our long-term research has provided information on how farm practices impact water quality. The Groundwater Act of 1987 was passed to improve the groundwater quality of the state of Iowa. It established a tax on nitrogen fertilizer to be collected to go into water quality research. Uh, the following year in 1988, uh, we proposed to put in a, this particular site. We would uh, evaluate the cultural impacts of different crop rotations and different fertilizing techniques. And in, in the first few years, different herbicide uh, applications to see how that would affect quality water in the tire lines. So some of the things that make it unique one is that it's uh, one of the, probably one of the longest running drainage research facilities in the country. So we've been able to monitor that for over 25 years and look at a variety of uh, cropping practices, uh, nutrient management practices. Um, and I think one of the, the real strengths is that we've been able to look at things over a range of weather conditions. That farm has been critical, it's taught us some things and now has been replicated at other farms around Iowa and other states as well are looking at replicating the things that were first started at the Gilmore Research Farm. Uh, it's an example of really the long-term type of research that it takes to study things like the impact of agriculture on water quality. And so it really takes uh, this studies like this, it's been in place for 25 years and counting, to be able to answer some of the important questions facing agriculture. With the funds provided by the Groundwater Protection Act, Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, along with the Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship, the Iowa Department of Natural Resources, and the Pocahontas County Soil and Water Conservation District, established the 11-acre site near Gilmore City to investigate the movement of nutrients through tile-drained farmland. With the research infrastructure in place at these locations around Iowa, Iowa State University research uh, and extension projects can help address current questions that farmers have, but also to be responsive into the future as new challenges uh, come up and will help them to continue to develop research-based options for farmers to address nutrient loss while also remaining productive. Every year the, the, the data becomes a bit more uh, important because of all the issues we're facing in today's agriculture. Extension specialists have shared the results from the Gilmore City Research Site with thousands of Iowa farmers. Each year, producers attend field days or listen to specialists present the research findings at events throughout the state. The quality of Iowa's water is motivating farmers to make changes to their land. The drainage research site has acted as an aid to the team that developed the Iowa Nutrient Reduction Strategy. Twelve states along the Mississippi River were asked to reduce the amount of nutrients released into their waters that flow into the Gulf of Mexico. The research conducted at this site was used as a basis to create the statewide nutrient reduction strategy. It had to be research that fit Iowa soils, fit Iowa's climates and the nearby states, but had proof of the linkage between the practice and water. That really set the standard for the, for the rest of the the hypoxia task force states uh, and for the nation in many ways to say start with science, what does the practice say, how can the land grants really bring farmers to the table because they trust us, they trust our research, they trust our extension programs and that's really been key. We've been looking at practices that we can use uh, to reduce nitrate uh, loss from our drainage systems, optimize our crop production, um, looking at the nitrogen management practices and how they impact that nitrate loss. So hopefully they understand that, that we've been um, studying this for a long time. The research near Gilmore City has helped farmers learn the value of cover crops and alternative tillage, along with the importance of water testing. Farmers are adopting practices that have a positive impact on water quality. We need to reduce the loss of nitrogen and phosphorus compared to what we've been doing. That means a change, a change in what we do on the land before people, uh, you get a change on the land, you have to have a change in the human. And that's where things like these field days, the education you know, as an input, the educational programming, 
the science to show the relationship. It's not just to trust me, it's a show me type of thing. To really uh, have, have the farmers understand and have faith that if they follow these practices, they will see a change in the water. We've been looking at this for a long time. We've been looking at practices that we can use uh, to reduce nitrate a loss from our drainage systems, optimize our crop production. Iowa State University Extension and Outreach, along with the Iowa Department of Agriculture and Land Stewardship and the Iowa Department of Natural Resources, will continue to provide farmers with research-based information to help successfully manage the state's land and water. How do you measure progress? And people said, look at what I was doing. <laughs>